Guys, I thought I'd pop on and do a different type of video. Um, this is going to include lip swatches of six of the Max Factor Color Elixir lipsticks. These are gorgeous. The first time I tried one of these was a couple of weeks ago when I was sent Ruby Tuesday, which is this beautiful kind of kind of cream glossy red from Max Factor, um, kind of to honour the fact that uh, Marilyn Monroe is now their brand ambassador and their face of their brand. That was the first time I tried any of the Max Factor colour elixir lipsticks and I had to say I fell in love, so what better way to kind of show my love than to give some lip swatches a, a go with these six that I have here. I didn't swatch Ruby Tuesday because I will link the tutorial, I featured that in down below because I've already done um, a video on that one. So yeah, if you're interested in what that looks like, it's on my Instagram, which I'll put down below. And if you're not following me, make sure that you do. Um, it's Wildcat Makeup. Also, as a sidebar, if any of you are watching who have ever done lip swatch videos, oh my god. I wanted to peel my lips off. They are just, I'm in agony. But on the plus side, it does look like I've had lip injections from all the wiping off of the lipstick and putting them on. I don't know how people do more than six of a lip swatch. It's just about killed me. But anyway, on to the lipsticks. So I have three brights and I have three of their kind of darker colours. This is the last one that I did, um, which I think is my favourite. But the first one is Dusky Rose and this is 8. Three O. Oh oh my goodness. First of all, I love the packaging. I love the design. I think it's really sleek. I like the fact that you can see the colour on the bottom. Um, and I do believe it's a true representation of the actual lipstick. Quite like the uh, NYX round lipsticks. So I do like that. I think that's a fab idea. Um, the thing that I have found about these is they do swatch quite differently on the back of your hand, which is why I wanted to do lip swatches, because I think it's always important with lip products to see what they look like on your lips. Now I do have quite pigmented lips, <laughs> as you can see throughout the swatches in the video, they do become more and more pigmented when they're taking off the lipstick and they're reapplying. So um, yeah, they may, obviously, the colours may vary on you, but I think with the light and everything I've got a pretty true representation of what they actually look like. So the first one, as I said, Dusky Rose. Beautiful colour. This one I think is a little bit more kind of retro in the fact that it does have some shimmer running through it, but it's not really detectable shimmer, I'd say. It's not like glitter or anything. It is just more um, kind of sheeny than the other five that I have. So Dusky Rose, as I am showing you here. The thing I love about the colour of the lipsticks is they apply like an absolute dream. I didn't use a lip liner with them, the only thing I've used in between kind of putting the lipsticks on is Vaseline, clear Vaseline, it's the cocoa butter one, so nothing with a colour because I wanted to show you what they look like on their own, I didn't want to muck it up by using a different kind of lip pencil from a different brand. So Dusky Rose is beautiful, as I said, one of the more retro ones, it is, as it says, a Dusky Rose, it's absolutely and truly a Dusky Rose. Um, it's a little bit brighter I think on the lips than it is in the tube but I mean that's you know that's no problem it's a beautiful beautiful shade I think it's absolutely gorgeous and um, yeah this is my first time actually using this one um, because I kind of gravitated when they arrived more towards the more darker colors because still winter but this one is beautiful I think this is a nice transitional shade and a nice everyday shade because if you are kind of looking for a new lipstick but you just you want something that kind of I don't know, amps up your face a little bit without being too much. I think Dusky Rose is definitely the shade for you. It's really beautiful and I think it suits a lot of people. The next one I have is Pink Brandy. And this one is beautiful. This is the first time I tried this one as well for, to swatch it for the video. Um, this is gorgeous. This is kind of interesting because um, the way it applies, it's very much like a MAC amplified creme lipstick. So I really like that. In fact, all of their kind of... Um, matte kind of cream shades apply it like the MAC lipstick so it's really nice it's quite a surprise I love this one I think this is an interesting shade for a drugstore brand because you know usually you associate kind of the more milky corally orange shades with higher end brands but I really like this one this is going to be a lovely for summer I think this is going to be something that I'm going to really uh, wear a lot um, because I do gravitate towards kind of corally orange shades I prefer orange shades strangely enough um, in the summer. I just prefer them more than the corals because corals tend to pull very pink on me so it's kind of it's kind of a bit pointless really with coral lipsticks. I may as well just put on a pink lipstick but as you can see from this one Pink Brandy, the number on this as well is uh, 825. It really is quite a true coral even on my lips because as I said everything pulls a little bit pink on me. Um, so it is actually a really nice kind of orangey pink it's really lovely but more orangey than pink so if you're kind of looking for a, more of a daring lipstick for the spring and the summer i think that the um pink brandy i love the name as well it's such a nice idea because it's kind of daring 
but it's not too daring. Um, I like it. And you can obviously shear it out. I mean, you don't have to apply it the way I've applied it. And FYI, this is, these are not meant to be kind of like a how to apply lipstick because this is just kind of showing you the colors and the shades it's not like it's not perfect application and as you can see further down the light my lips are just like Phew. so yeah excuse that i just wanted to show you how they apply in the colors but pink brandy 825 i would definitely recommend that if you're kind of looking for something a little bit daring for the spring and summer it's a beautiful shade the next one now this one is called bewitching coral and i can see where they were going this with this is 827 um looks like this Coming up a little bit brighter on camera than it actually is. Now you see this one immediately, it is a coral, but this one immediately does pull quite pink on me. That's just how it's gonna be. Um, it's the pigment in my lips, it makes it more pink than it is. However, I think a lot of people will like this because it is, once again, it is like a creme finish, which are my absolute favorite lipstick finishes. I'm not a big sheeny, shimmery lipstick person. Um, and I think a lot of people are becoming more and more kind of, you know, uh, biased towards kind of creamy finishes. I like them. It's really quite an odd thing to find in a drugstore brand though, which is why I really like this one. And, and the darker ones as well, which um, I'll show you in a minute, the one I've got on at the moment, which is uh, a very nice kind of cream finish. But Bewitching Coral is beautiful. It is more of a, it's pulls more of a true pink. And to be honest, I mean, if you look at the way it's going on, it, it, it is more of a, of a pink, but there is a slight corally undertone to it. So I can see why they called it that. Um, and in different lights it shows up differently, which I like. So I think this one is a perfect summer colour. If you're not really into wearing a lot of other eye makeup or anything, you just want something that's quite like a pop, um, to coin a pants, then I think the Bewitching Coral would be right up your alley. It's a beautiful shade. Once again, quite unusual for something from the drugstore. Um, yes, I really like that one as well. And once again, this is my first time swatching this one as well. So they wear beautifully. Um, that's the thing about these lipsticks is why I wanted to kind of do swatches for you because they wear absolutely beautifully. So that's Bewitching Coral. Onto the darker shades, which I have to say are my favourite, purely I think because of the time of year and kind of the makeup I've been going for recently. I've just been looking kind of for kind of darker, more chocolatey shades. And Max had to do uh, just amazing darker shades in their colour elixir range. So the first one I'm going to show you now is Raisin. This is 894. And I love this. It's kind of like Dusky Rose, but a hell of a lot darker with more mauve in it. I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. It does, once again, like Dusky Rose, have a sheen to it. This is not a creme finish. Um, and depending on what you like, I think it's nice. They've kind of done two different formulas for the Colour Elixir range. I think that's a nice idea. So if you want something that's kind of a little bit light reflective, this would probably be it, but it is dark. So I like this one. This is the first one I used, actually, um, when they arrived. And I really, really like the way it came out. And um, it's kind of... A, a more sheeny version of my lips so I really like this colour it's beautiful goes with lots of different eye looks um, but I mean it definitely is something that's more winter appropriate I mean I, I know not everybody kind of most people don't really conform to like what's winter or seasonal appropriate just wear whatever you like but I think really if you're looking for something that's just a little bit once again kind of transitional um, between the seasons. Raisin's really pretty. I really like this. I think it's a beautiful lipstick. So that is one of the darker ones. The next one is a Rosewood. This is 833. Now Rosewood is beautiful. I like this kind of formulation. These are quite creamy. Um, it's the same as the one I've got on now. This is a different one, but it's the same formulation as the one I have on now. I love this type of formulation. Now Rosewood is, um, as, as the name suggests, it is kind of mauvey, kind of burgundy slightly but i think the base of it is more kind of um kind of a sort of chocolate it's not incredibly chocolate because the, the kind of the rosy aspect in it makes it a little bit lighter than that but this one is perfect for this time of year now rosewood i love i think it's absolutely gorgeous shade i love the finish um i love the wear the thing is with these lipsticks they just wear beautifully they don't transfer either that's another thing um, from the shades I've worn out, they do not transfer to glasses or anything like that, which is fab, which is kind of what you'd think because they're very, very pigmented. Um, so Rosewood, I think, is perfect this time of year. I wish I'd kind of discovered Rosewood um, <laughs> back in, you know, the kind of the depths of winter uh, because it, I would have worn it all the time. But I've still been wearing it a lot ever since I got it. I think it's a gorgeous shade. So if you're looking for something that's kind of a little bit quite on trend, but you don't want to spend MAC money, then I think Rosewood would be a really good um, idea. And the last one we 
which I think is my favourite, strangely enough, and it's the one I have on now. This is Burnt Caramel. This is 745. I've been wearing this lipstick a lot. It's beautiful. It is... It's kind of like a... It's like a dark nude. It really is a very dark nude. Um, it doesn't have any red in it. It doesn't have any rose in it, um, unlike the rosewood. There's a definite difference with rosewood and Burnt Caramel. So if I just show you them side by side before I show you the swatches. Um, so... Burnt Caramel is this one, and Rosewood is this one. So you can see, this is far more um, kind of dark, and this definitely has a mauve undertone to it. So I really, really love Burnt Caramel. It's lovely. I think it's a stunning shade, um, and I think a lot of people will like this if you are looking for kind of like, I will say it, I hate to say it, but I will say it just for reference, for kind of like a Kylie Jenner-esque type of shade. I think Burnt Caramel is bang on trend. It's a beautiful shade. Once again, applies beautifully. I think this one applies the best out of all of them. I don't know why. Maybe it's something to do with the pigment. I have no idea, but it is a creme finish. It's just stunning. Um, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful shade. Very on trend. Kind of unusual, really, once again, for a drugstore brand because it is a very dark nude. And most of the time, a drugstore brands, they do light nudes, which drives me nuts because they don't suit me. They make me look dead. So, uh, Burt Caramel is absolutely my favourite of the bunch. So, that is my review and uh, my lip swatches. Whew. Oh, God. I think my lips have finally recovered. I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait for the swelling to go down. Oh. So that's my review of the Max Factor Color Elixir lipsticks. There are 15 of them. I have seven of them, as I mentioned. I didn't swatch Ruby Tuesday because, first of all, red lips. Oh, I can't be going into it. And uh, second of all, I've already featured it in my previous tutorial, so I'll link that tutorial down below. So yes, Max Factor at the moment, I believe, are doing a uh, buy one, get one half price on their cosmetics, which is cosmetics, cosmetics, which is a fab idea. So if you're kind of looking for some new lipsticks that really won't break the bank, then I would absolutely recommend these. I think they're gorgeous. So that's that. I'll leave a link to all of the lipsticks I mentioned down below individually. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the format of it, guys. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.